it's kind of felt like the last couple of weeks, a lot of what we've done, especially on live streams, has been kind of like grinding and being super kind of like focused on just shooting every single male, trying to get the respawns. And of course, that's what we do on chill hunts as well to some degree, but I thought it would be nice to get out here on Burhunga and just kind of hunt around and go for anything instead of specifically grinding for one species. And a lot of time we come out here, it works pretty good, so we'll see what goes on. I saw that by the way, bottom boy, you've been playing for a year and still can't spell it correctly. It's it's a difficult one to spell if you don't, I guess, obsess about getting it correct. We had something. There was a title not too long ago that I spelled incorrectly. I can't remember exactly what it was. That's not a very big mail, but we might as well go for that. Get something with the 243 anyway. What's up, Kyla? Tuck is in here, Rage Nation's in here, Busy Strugs, all the Strugs. Chill on a kill, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. That's the vibes, anyway. Uh, did you check that place out yet? I did not. I've been <laughs> quite busy over the course of the last week. Um, Kyla is going to be here tomorrow, so we've been getting all the videos prepped for such things. Uh, John Carla, thank you for the bits, by the way. How's your day going? And I got a new puppy. Nice, dude. If you're in Discord, you should post a picture of that in the pest channel. But day is going well. Been editing since like 10 o'clock this morning. Just now, kind of got it done. Where is Mr. Springboy? We could use Rocky to actually help us here. That would be maybe a good idea. Happy birthday, Hayden. Hope you're having a good day. I've watched you for like two and a half years. That's a long time, man. It's a long time to stick around. I never... The ratio of, like, lungs to rest of the body on Springbuck is huge. Never really noticed that before. Um, Twinkies, thank you for the super chat as well. Good to see you once again, man. Thank you for the best. Did I say that? I'm so used to that. With Giancarlo, it very m well may be what I said. Too many Twitch streams. What can I say? I thought bits were on Twitch. They were... Bits of love. I don't know. I tried. What a silly flooper. Starting off strong as always. I don't know. Was it multiplayer or single player? We shot some decent sized fours over here. I wanted to come to this spot first. Of course there were Gim's book in the thumbnail. And I thought we'd kind of go and shoot a couple of them and sort of move on from there. That's a decent level four. We should play together now that I got the Hunter on Steam and Classic. I'm in multiplayer pretty much all the time. If you're running around multiplayer server, there's a good chance you run into me. Why is he... I think there's a lion over there. Rocky's going to try to be in our way. It is lion feed time, so it would kind of make sense if he was alert because of that. Not a hard shot, but lungs will work. 10 hour work days, no backup for me to take a vacation. Normally I'd be asleep by now, I could imagine. That does not sound like it'd be very fun for very long, but hopefully that's kind of more of a temporary thing. We'll just get both of them. I still don't get the goal of the game. There isn't necessarily like a super defined goal with Call of the Wild, and that's one of the best parts about it. A lot of people play and just try to do like all the achievements or all the missions. A lot of people try to like get a diamond of each species. The thing that I'm doing, the thing that keeps me coming back to this game day after day after day is trying to fill the trophy lodge with like at least one diamond of each species. But then there's still going to be leftover room in the lodge. So the entire lodge, I want to be all diamonds or goal scoring rares or better. Or with the multi-mounts, if there's a female in the multi-mount that can't score gold, I want at least, like, the highest uh, score that can be. Nice, Danny's. And no worries, Acid. Appreciate you being here. The goal is cloud. I mean, it, it can be. Definitely can be, like, within the community or whatever. That's a reasonable goal. I just want a time in Red Deer. They don't exist. I'm sorry to tell you this. I know you've been searching for 12 years, but... They're not a real thing. I just try to stay stealthy and bow hunt everything I can get in range of. See, that's that's the great thing about the game. Like, I rarely bow hunt in this game, but it's 
another very valid way to play, and it was something I had considered doing. Maybe I'll still do it. Somebody talked about trying to go from basically the very beginning and leveling up all the way to 60 just with bow kills. I think that could be a lot of fun. I don't see a thumbnail. It, uh, you know, YouTube's got everything so messed up with thumbnails right now, it might just be hidden. I don't know what's going on. When I upload it, it looks fine. When I go live, it gets super blurry and weird anyway, so who knows. How many white toad did you kill before you got your great one? It was like between 1600 and 1650. I kept like a pretty close tally on it, but not super exact. So somewhere in that area. Anthony, thank you for becoming a channel member, man. Appreciate you. Welcome. If you're not in the Discord already, make sure you join that and link up your YouTube to get the member role over there. Take advantage of the ghost that comes along with that. And enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. Thank you, man. And Drew with the super chat. Thanks so much. Two diamond mountain lions in less than 15 minutes back to back on the lake near Burnt Rock Mountain on Silver Ridge. Love in the stream, by the way. We're nice, man. It's, uh... We've had a number of times where we've had, like, back to back level nines. But it's usually the case that one of them trolls, so... Not too bad getting two that actually made it. Are you talking about, like, um, what Antavino's doing, Sam? Because I don't want to kind of steal his thing. Like, I at least want to wait till he's done with it. He's invited me to basically try to do it. I like the idea, but... Man, I don't know. That is a commitment. Because it's... You gotta kill a lot of animals to reach level 60. Like, you start to level up and it seems like that's gonna be easy. But... It's probably... Over a thousand? To do that without a single miss. And you gotta realize, too, you can't just, like, go and shoot geese or shoot ducks or, you know, hit every running animal. Because eventually, a shot's gonna end up not going where you want. And the way that that challenge is supposed to work is that if you miss a shot, you restart back to level one. So, I don't <laughs> want to do that yet until I have more time to commit to it, I guess. What on earth are you guys referring to? All racks matter? Absolutely. I, there's a merch idea. All the ideas. I want a picture of my sexy red deer corridor in the Discord, I remember. Sounds good. Got all the different rack variations, I'm assuming. I find that so interesting and I want to do it, but I know I would flop up a routine shot and got to start all over. I feel like I could do pretty okay. But I'd be so tempted to go for stupid shots that eventually I would do it, and it would miss. And like, it's almost second nature to just, with these repeating rifles now, to just take a shot and if it misses, animals staying around, you get that quick follow up in before they even flee. And I would probably just do it, not thinking, and shoot a tree or a rock, and it would just be big sadness when that doesn't go to plan. Um, Twinkies, thank you for the super chat again, by the way. Haven't played Call of the Wild ever since I heard of the render bug, but I played last night. Couldn't find a decent animal, which kind of sucked. What does that mean? Had a good day? Had a good... Is that what that means? I don't have a clue. But, uh, yeah, the render bug is unfortunately still very much in existence and unfortunately still very much annoying. But I talked about this. I don't know if it was on stream or if I was saying it to somebody in Discord. I, I don't know where I ended up saying this, but when bugs like the render bug come along, usually the approach I take is like, alright, that's a new challenge to overcome in the game, because it's kind of, you know, potentially going to cost me trophies if I don't find a way to overcome it, and I'd, I'd prefer to continue playing the game and find a way around it than to just not play. So, you know, we find our ways Oh my goodness, shoot a big male. No, I don't need it. It means have a good day. Oh, okay. Don't mind me. Uncultured lad over here. Thank you. That's a lot of gems, boy, but nothing even, like, remotely decent size. It's kind of an okay four. What's up, Billy? Being sick sucks? What kind of sick are you? There you go, bottom boy. That's it. What is my girlfriend's name? She is literally one message above you, Caleb. That's Kyla right there. 
Did I miss some diamonds? Nothing yet. We've shot a couple of male Gemsbuck. Probably a couple of golds. I haven't even paid attention to the medals, to be completely honest. There's kind of a maybe okay one in there. I thought I saw better size horns. That's probably still the best, though. Some solid-ish females. We have, like, our fair share of diamond female Gensbuck. We have several max core ones. So, I don't really care to try to get diamond female Gensbuck. I specifically want a diamond male, because they just... The big, kind of, like, arch they have in their horns. I just think it looks really good on some of the um, plaques in the Trophy Lodge. Like, if you have them turned sideways... You just see the length of the horns, and it looks really, really good, so... One of these days, hopefully it can happen. Cold sick, hopefully. Gotcha, man. What time do you recommend for Gemsbuck? They drink from 4 to 8 a.m. So, if you want to hunt around the lakes, that would be the ideal time. I usually start at 5, because I personally don't care to hunt at night or in the dark. So, they're pretty much all over. I think this lake and this lake... Might be the only two they don't drink at. You'll even get them drinking, like, down across the east side of the map. They're pretty all over. Who's this we? Uh, us. That's who. Just lost my diamond deer to that render distance bug. It's, it's such an unfortunate thing trying to deal with it, but... Unfortunately, until it gets fixed, it's just kind of gonna be a part of, uh, you know life in the game. Let's actually use the new tent. I never took that one down. Okay, new plan. Uh, I have tents in my inventory, so I can remove tents right now, and it's not going to be more than I can carry. So we'll go ahead and take this. I'm scared of the dark. Yes, that is why I refuse to hunt at night, except for Red Fox, because I don't really want to hunt in the daylight, I guess. No fun. What's up, Silver? The only drugs I'm having is bread. They only had hard bun to the store, and I was grilling brats. All right. Interesting. Thank you for the tale. What do you think will be the next map? I say a second Africa map. I feel like it's going to be the... Not exactly the kind of three-year anniversary of Verhunga's release, because... Verhunga didn't come out until August of 2018, but it was the first map released in 2018, so basically three years since they've done it. I feel like it's about time. Why are you so good at the Hunter Call of the Wild? The only thing I could possibly answer is 4,232 hours. I just have played the game a little bit here and there, and you know, you pick things up over that much time. Is it literally nothing, Bottom Boy? Like, even super strong stuff? I've always kind of wondered, because I've never had it to that degree. Like, I've lost taste to where... I don't know. Bland stuff is basically just there, but... Stronger tastes and such are a little more... Noticeable. Have you ever gone hunting in real life? I've been deer hunting for, like, 13 years, and... I think the first thing I ever shot was, like, 6 years old, so well over 17 years at this point. I'm hoping for a pure mountain map. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but I'm curious if it's something along these lines. Something closer to the Hunter Classic. Like, if you've played Classic, Alpine Ibex would be a good example. There's there's no zones in Classic, and even if they, they kept zones, just don't do drink zones have like whatever mountain species you want just no drink stones because as much as it can be useful to be able to like grind with drink stones and stuff in call of the wild anything like the ibex or you know mountain goat bighorn sheep stuff like that they just don't get the rarity that they should have in call of the wild due to drink stones showing your age i don't even know what i said oh well yeah I mean, people ask it all the time anyway. How do you get so many diamonds? It's a combination of the time put in, um, and basically the kind of strategy that 
I use, whether I'm in single player or multiplayer, is hunting whatever is currently active. And by active, I tend to mean drinking. So right now, it is 627 in-game. Gemsbug and Warthog will be drinking. So I'm going to be in places that I know Gemsbug and Warthog drink. So for instance, we're kind of running across to this lake right now. I wanted to see maybe what fed in between, and there are some kudu tracks, but nothing real special so far. They need another map with whitetail pheasant hunting in the game, probably, would be nice. I'd agree with both of those. Um, how many times have I said this now in recent weeks? We we have a map with whitetail. It's probably the most hunted map, if I had to guess. And then, be, because of the great ones for sure, whitetail are probably the most hunted species. And then there's things like red deer that are on like four maps, moose are on three maps, uh, wild boar are on three maps. It's just interesting whitetail only have the one, so I'm with you on that. That sounds awful, bottom boy. Hopefully that returns soon. I can't imagine that would be much fun. The Vector has talked to me about him uninstalling the game. He tried to get an older version working, but Steam kept reloading the current one. He still deleted it again. So I was trying to figure out if you purchase the disc, like the original disc for Call of the Wild, whatever, you know, February 2017 release, do you need Steam to run it? Because if you don't, you could disable your internet, just like, you know, disconnect, and it's not going to try to, or it's not going to be able to update, it's not going to be able to find an update, and I think you could play the original version. I just have no idea if you actually need Steam, because if you do, I think it's going to find out that you, like, own the game already and then just not work. I don't know why I feel compelled to shoot jackals right now, but, I mean, why not? We do this enough with Red Fox that it's something that I'm reasonably capable of anyway. A couple of males. Do you think it would take people away from Leighton if the map was good enough? Uh, yes and no. Each map has, like, a couple of unique species. Leighton right now has Blacktail, Whitetail, Roosevelt Elk, Mallards, and Jackrabbit. Like, it's got plenty. Um, there might even be... Yeah, Coyotes, too, is another one. And most maps are like that. And even as they add other maps with duplicate species, the old maps still generally retain most of their popularity. I'd say maybe a decent example of, like, the, a map that was popular and then a new map kind of making it go away would probably be, like, Parque Fernando. I think... Hunting Red Deer there instead of Hirschfelden was a really big thing. But then when Quattro came out, and eventually when Te Aoroa came out, the biggest draw to Parquet I really think was the Red Deer. And now, sometimes there's like three or four servers open. There's not that many. I think that's a, a big thing that happens, but it's not necessarily bad. Like, as the game continues to evolve more maps that are, you know, more popular than old ones is probably good. More like embed probs, that too. I just... Every time I try to post a video from my phone, it's like, nah, we're not gonna do that. Oof. <laughs> Bottom boy sees the thumbnail just fine because that's the viewing quality. Big sad. Favorite map currently is Leighton Lakes. All you guys are watching low resolution. I don't know how you can even tell what's going on. Maybe you can't rely on whatever I say. I don't know. What did I bring? 303, I think? It's a dusky kudu. Who just jumped right over my shot. Didn't approve of that. Low key for like half a second. <laughs> that Gensbuck ran through and I was not prepared. I thought it was going to be an albino kudu. Would have been nice. Are you excited for ultimate hunting? I'm trying not to get too excited because, for one, it's quite some time away. But also, I just haven't seen enough to really have 
you know, much of an idea of what it's really going to be. These things look cool. Why can't male cutie look like this? That's something I've made a point of, uh, you know, kind of compiling all of the species that are like that and sort of showing the devs just in case maybe they weren't aware. Because you have things like Dusky Kudu or Crowned Wildebeest or are they called brown uh, water buffalo? They can only be female and as far as I can tell for no real good reason only be female. And just some of those rares if you could get a diamond of them would be incredible. Sounds like a good time, Vector. It's a decent lion. And it's a dead lion. Tomothy? What now? Are they going to make a new map soon? If I had to guess, probably. The schedule they've been basically sticking to, pretty much since Parque Fernando, has been a map every basically six months. And it's usually... June and December. So, for instance, Silver Ridge Peaks was um, June of 2020. Te Aoroa was December 2020. June-ish should be the next map. So, relatively soon. The thing is, you gotta remember, Te Aoroa was very much delayed on both consoles, and especially on PS4. So, maybe that delay on console has delayed, like, the beginning stages of the next map. And it might be a little bit later, but... I do expect to see a new one in the next couple of months anyway. So another decent lion. That's far enough away that unless we heart shot him, he's going to run out of render. So we'll sort of scoot down there. Maybe we'll get to see what he's stocking as well. It's Thomas the Train, not Thomas the Tank Engine. Multiple lions? Is that right, Palo? I wonder why that might be. What's up, Devin? Sweden map with White Moose as the new Great One. Honestly, a Moose Great One would be pretty cool. Is that a buffalo up there or is that a tree? It's a very buffalo shaped tree. Killed a 55 pound, 42 inch coyote. I take this to be real life then? The pounds wasn't going to make sense for Call of Wow. That would be like almost a diamond, but the measurement sounds like real life. And if so, that's a pretty good one. Did TK say something the other day about an in-game hint being out? I have been so uh, entrenched in my video prep that I have no idea. Maybe someone else might have an answer to that, but I certainly don't. Buffalo. There was... At one point, I had Kate Buffalo the drink here. They don't seem to anymore, but I kind of miss when that was a thing. You might want to get an eye test if you can't tell the difference between a buffalo and a tree. It was... it was far. And on the horizon, it's fine. I'm sure I've shot plenty of trees thinking they were buffalo in the past anyway. It's fine. It was a... It was a rare... You know... Leafy... Cape buffalo. I don't know. I'm trying my best out here. I hope they had white tail to Silver Ridge Peaks. That would be interesting. A lot of people were quite upset they didn't, but I felt like they didn't really belong there, honestly. What's going on, Zaggy? You know what? Thank you for the super chat. I love this game because of you. You're fun to watch. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. And thank you once again for the super chat. Were there two? Why do I not see that one? You two, please work. All right, I guess we'll just go off of alerts. Dirty Burger, thank you for the super chat as well. Hopes for new animals coming to the game. I really want to see Coos Deer. I think that's my number one. And because we don't have a map where they could really be right now, uh, I guess a new map with them. They could do like Desert Mule Deer, Desert Bighorn. They could do Coyotes, Jackrabbits, Javelina, stuff like that. I think it'd be pretty good. I also want to see... Um, doll sheep added to Yukon Valley. I really think they could fit there, but for some reason, that's not something that's happened. Are you talking about the second channel one, Zaggy? 
charge the outhouse? If it was a wolf talk video, it wouldn't have been. I remember a second... Oh. It was that, but the second you had one was the bloopers for that. Never mind. I know what you mean. There's a decent one. First actual solid games book. Uh, what question, Tux? Sorry, I'm halfway distracted, evidently. We could try to get a second one. I really don't do that very much with, like, larger animals. Because if you mess up and it starts to, like, flee, they don't go down very quick, even though that's, like, a solid one. Should we try it? He's tough for just, like, half a second there. Maybe when we go down to claim, we'll be able to see. The blooper one? Yeah, those were good. How many diamonds do you have? So, of course, the codex was broken for a while, and the count is not going to be correct. I guess it would be 734 is the current number. When I just realized that I was 50 seconds behind. Big old delay. What's that guy still doing there? Little weirdo just doesn't care about... All the gunshots, apparently. No worries, Peter. Killed a level 37 whitetail. Um, that does not sound legit. I would love to see an Oklahoma map with whitetail, bison, mallard, elk, pronghorn, nah. and jacker, but the thing is, though, there's nothing new there, and I think they'd have a really hard time, you know, selling that map. Especially when... There's, God, who knows, hundreds, maybe, of different suggestions people are putting out all the time. You just end up with a lot of people upset that they didn't do something new. As much as that might be a really fun map to hunt, I just think from the dev's perspective, that would be a tough one to actually sell. I'm YT, thank you for the super chat. Just tried fried turkey nuggets. That is a interesting one. I don't know if I've had that. Uh, so good. Super chill stream. Keep up, keep up the amazing work. I will definitely do my best. Thank you, dude. Might have to try those as well now that you've said it. Oh. For the games bug, Sam? I was trying to figure out where that came from. Where's the best Cape Buffalo place to hunt? Um, I would say these two lakes up here in the north. This little kind of inlet is good as well. But if you hunt their feed time, these two zones down here by this uh, lookout in the southeast, that probably has the most Cape Buffalo, like, in one spot that you can get. Usually the afternoon feed time. So they have a feed time that is... What is it, actually? It's 4 to 8 a.m. or something like that. And then they have a later feed time from 12 to 1600. That feed time is where you get most of them in that spot. Couple of figures. There's a four in there. Let's go ahead and get that guy. 303 should probably drop him, I would think. Yeah, that looks about right. How am I missing this, Tux? Hold on. I got you. I will find you. What do you think about if they took a six month break from making a new map? Instead, adding new stuff and fix stuff to the game, like new great ones and more racks for animals. See, from our perspective, as players, that's probably what we want and what seems best. But you gotta you gotta realize with developers and like game companies and all companies, there's someone above the heads of the developers, above the heads of the programmers and stuff. All their, you know, all the deadlines and stuff you see, and deadlines that are maybe unrealistic, are set by them. Like, these guys are... There's nothing wrong with it either, necessarily. Like, they are just trying to make money, and, like, they're all about the business side of things. They've probably never seen any of the code or anything like that. You're never going to get a cease in new content creation, because... There's always going to be, like, someone at the top of the company saying, like, alright, new map has to be out June, what's the end of June? Is it 30th or 31st? By the end of June. Or, you know, 
whatever. Something not good happens. That's that's always there with stuff like that. Couldn't think of a name for my dog, so I named him Rocky. It's a good dog name, man. It's a good dog name. Hardest working is an easier mod title to give out, and it's obviously me. I mean, according to some, I think that was a Twitch stream. Or maybe, was it like a Saturday YouTube stream? I don't know what it was. It was classic. You were obviously my favorite, because I only read your messages, it would seem. What? Well, well, while I was answering that, was something else going on? Fluffy yellow marshmallow things? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Just here to pester. It's great. It's good times. Anything you miss about the old scoring system? I do. That's a good size beige. I think I've seen him, though. I'm pretty sure it's just a small four. Anyway, um, I do miss, as much as it's unrealistic, like max score animals. There was always something, and we have them with, like, non true axe species, but they're slowly being phased out every time a species gets true axe. There's no more, you know, official max score. It was always cool to, you know, get a, what's one that we had? A coyote. And know that there's literally none that can possibly be bigger than the one that we got. That was a cool feeling that just can't really happen anymore. I think that in a little bit of, a common question is like, what was your biggest diamond? And I can't answer that properly now because there's no... There's no comparison across species, whereas the old scoring system obviously had that with the max of a thousand. So usually when someone asks that, I figure it's my max score diamond plains bison, because it's the highest max score weight, if that makes sense. They're, they're good questions, bottom boy. Somehow your questions make me think, and I answer them for 12 years. I don't know what does it. After channel grows, we'll remember these signs when you would answer the people in chat. I'm always going to answer chat, regardless of how big the channel and community get. It might get to the point that I can't answer, I guess, like as high a percentage of chats because there's just going to be more of them. <laughs> but that's that's the point of streaming for me. I'm not trying to do much else other than actually interact with chat for the two hours. I mean, obviously, trying to get cool stuff in the game, but I could do that in videos. The point of getting the stream is actually the interaction. Would you like to turn back here, sir? Thank you so kindly. Enjoy your 300 round. Um, Zachary, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I'd like a more interactive map, like being able to put food plots, feeders, mineral sites, etc. Food plots, as a concept, seem like a really good idea. The potential issue with that is the way that they'd be implemented. Look at some of the zones that happen on Verhunga. Like, you have that Cape Buffalo zone I mentioned a bit ago, or there's some Warthog zones. There's apparently a Kudu Rest Zone that does it. Where you just get, like, 40 or 50 animals in one area. If a food plot did that, that wouldn't be good. Like, I'd prefer they sort of get handled more like bait sites in Hunter Classic at that point, where animals that are kind of near, go and visit it for a while, and then leave. If they did it that way, that could be cool. I do like the idea of an interactive map. There's this, like, dream for a hunting game that I've always had, where the basic concept would be you start with a chunk of land, and you manage not only the land, but, like, the population of animals on it. And, yeah, like, whether it's food plots, stain placement, all that kind of stuff, it would be really fun. So the render bug is at 100% of the time issue because I played yesterday and I know I chased a couple that would have left render and I found them. Did I just miscalculate the distance? It seems it's not a 100%er on console. It is on PC. Every animal that leaves your render on PC disappears. But yeah, I think on console sometimes for some reason it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand why. I just have observed such things. Do I still have a tent here? I do. Just hopping around smoking all the guns, but I didn't 
realize we'd be doing that, but I like it. They could work like replaced feed zones for like one to two herds. I don't know how zones are handled in this game, but I think the fact that you do have some of those places that just get way more animals than they probably should means that zones aren't too specific to any one herd. I think it's more of there are areas that can have zones and the fact that multiplayer you find zones like in a different place maybe along a lake but at the same lake kind of shows that. So for instance let's find let's find an area that doesn't have too many. Eh, all the areas have a lot. We'll go with this. Okay. There's a Warthog drink zone here. I can say with certainty that also Cape Buffalo drink there. And I wouldn't be too surprised if Jackal or Rabbit drink there if I went there during their drink time. And the reason is not because there's like a specific drink zone for each species there. I think it's more like this is an area where a drink zone can be. And all those species happen to have drink zones there. And maybe I'm wrong about that, but my worry would be if you were to find an area that is near like a bunch of deer herds and then had the food plot there that all of them would end up flocking there and it could be sort of abuse potentially like as long as that like i guess concern is addressed then i'm fine with it i think food plots would be a lot of fun what do you mean having the entire map population in one little spot's overpowered uh yeah it's great there's no potential issues with that I was looking for these guys and I didn't see them. It's a little bit annoying. It'll probably stop out there. Whenever you feel like it. We're just chilling here. They should make boats for duck hunting? I think boats in general would be a good idea. Because there's a lot of deep water in Call of the Wild. A lot of deep, very difficult to... Uh you know, maneuver water that can be a big pain. What was wrong with that shot? I genuinely have no idea. I guess it was vertebrae, so too high? I thought that was like 300 meters. Oh yeah! G-Man did get a uh, galber this morning. Better than mine so far as well. Wait, you don't know who... I must have missed your first message asset, I'm not sure. What would be your thoughts if they did a desert map? I guess it depends where. I really want to see a North American desert map. Like... Ever since I played Cabela's Outdoor Adventures, a combination of their two desert maps would be my ideal for Call of the Wild. Obviously, you know, Call of the Wild graphics, not 2005 uh, Cabela's game graphics, but... Something like that would be a lot of fun in my mind. Do you think fishing would be cool as far as being added to Call of the Wild? My opinion on fishing in Call of the Wild is that they should probably do it in a different game. It is, you know, labeled as the Hunter Call of the Wild, not like outdoor or something to where it would make more sense to have both. I just think... There's not enough players that would really use it. And then, at that point, it kind of becomes... Is it worth the dev's time to do all the animations, all the mechanics? Like, not only first-person animations, third-person animations for multiplayer. All the models. There's, like, a lot of stuff that goes into that. Me vlogging? Oh, how entertaining would it be? I'm editing video number four today. <laughs> Guess I'll cut to when I'm done with that. I'm not an entertaining person, I think, in my day-to-day -day life. Just in Call of the Wild. What do you think about a map where we can harvest Pokemon? Isn't that the, uh, the concept of Pokemon Let's Go? Just play that. Do it for the vlog? What do you want me to do? Roll out of bed, start vlogging my alarm going off. That's the move. My hunting videos are close enough to vlogs. You know, explain your way through whatever's going on. It counts. 
You don't call the wild, you're boring? Oof. Yeah, Kyla? There you go. That'll make it entertaining. You can just spin around the entire time. Let's run down to this spot. It should give Cape Buffalo time to get into their zones. Every time there's been fishing in a hunting focus game, uh, the fishing is usually crap, cough, outdoor adventures. Yeah, because nothing against fishing or anything like that. But generally, like the action and the stuff that people are paying for is going to be the hunting. Like, I get why that always ends up being the case. Do it for the TikTok. Oh dear. It would be great to be able to herd your baby animals and see them develop. I think Call of the Wild has massive maps. They're 64 square kilometers. And I've tried to figure out what the math might be, but there's got to be way over a thousand animals on any given map. And surely all of the AI for each individual animal and like the models and the rendering and all that stuff that the game has to do, those animals have to be a decent strain on the GPU. So, or the CPU. I think technically it's more on the CPU. Anyway, if they were to do baby animals in the game, you either have a larger strain on the hardware and therefore like a higher requirement uh, for just being able to run it, or you have less adult animals and the same like impact on your hardware. And I think a lot of people would be quite upset if there were just less huntable animals around. As much as I'm with you as far as like trying to, like I, I mentioned that game earlier that I really have always wished someone would do and I just don't have the resources or ability to do it myself. Like being able to kind of herd manage would be a ton of fun. But unfortunately, at least with how Call of the Wild is, I can't see that being something that could work. By the way, Noah, thank you for the super chat. How do you get good red deer? I have a red deer kind of setup guide for Quattro Kalinas on my channel. I might recommend checking those videos out. I feel like I went over most locations. Now, when I did that, I didn't like explicitly outline every single location that I was setting up. I kind of more talked about setting up for any kind of grind in general and just finding all the drink zones, but I know I showed a good number of them in those videos. Never serial or serious, that sounds dangerously like adulting, and that's just territory you don't want to stray into. Don't want to do it. Can you turn on your face cam one day? Maybe one day, who knows. I'm new to this game, do animals respawn in this game, or is it possible to hunt a whole map out and no more animals spawn? Yeah, there's, there's respawns. It's hard to say if they're immediate or like a little bit delayed. But for instance, um, if you have heard me talking about like grinding for any particular species or like a trophy of any particular species, if you switch maps or end the game and start again, when I say end the game I mean like stop playing for the day and come back the next day maybe, your response were there so it, it doesn't take too long. Uh, is a 60 with a bunch of decimal consecutive harvest good? I think that just means you've shot like three animals in a row or something. I don't... I don't know for sure. It might be two now. They... So consecutive harvest used to take five, and then it took three. I'm trying to think what that 60% would mean. It must be back to five. <laughs> Is that your job, Palo? I was unaware of this. On my... Oh yeah, is that the same population scanner that somebody was talking about on Twitch? Yukon has 1557 animals right now? So yeah, easily over a thousand anyway for what I was talking about. I don't know where that max estimate Cape Buffalo was, but it wasn't a rare, so... It's not like I'm crazy in need of big male capes at this point, so... Maybe we'll just sort of... Go back then. Potentially they'll be moving to their zones up here. Duty noddle. Was that meant to be noodle or is that like a 
a word you guys use that I wouldn't understand. But I like putting the smileys. Only sad faces. No happiness to be found around here. There's no big males. No happiness. What is the best wildebeest drink zone? I don't hunt wildebeest during their drink time. Two reasons. Number one, they drink at night, and most larger animals that drink at night, I don't hunt their drink times. When it comes to red fox or lynx or coyote, they're so small, it's tough to, you know, randomly spot them even during the day. So I tend to find hunting them at their drink time is better, but when it comes to a herd of wildebeest, number one, they're big enough to spot them, you know, when they're feeding or resting somewhere else. But the other kind of side of that is if you spook a herd of wildebeest, you hear them. Like, you hear the stampede at any distance. So, you can kind of run around looking for feed zones. And once you spook them, even if you didn't know they were there, you know what direction they are, you kind of go over there, find their zone, and go back. I see, Palo. I had a streak of six messed up diamonds with the M1. I just became numb to the pain eventually. Was it just, like, struggling to aim the M1 or unfortunate mistakes sometimes that's just all it is what's up Althazar good to see you man I got a diamond color phase black bear and others just casually coming in here and smoking me for not being able to kill him but that's cool man what uh which fur type did you get oh really Kyla was that the response you were expecting Small warthogs. They need that stampede sound for bison. If they sort of slowed it down, it would probably work. Because you can even hear in that stampede sound, it's a little more... Like the feet are moving faster than what a bison's would. But yeah, when you get... However many it can be. Up to like... 20, 30 bison in an area, it probably should sound like that. I wanted to come back over here. There's a decent cave up there. They're just drinking in a pretty terrible spot, so... Huh. Do I really want to go down there for level 7 cave buffalo? No. But we will. We'll see if we'll charge. Interesting bottom boy. Interesting. If you do it with like a temporary die, you can get a better idea of, you know, how much you'd like to do that. Do you use the 30 odd six? I don't use it super often. I've got a video coming up uh, sometime in the next week where we will use it, but I tend to stick more. I mean, the M1 technically is a 30 odd six, but I think what you're asking is specifically the 30 odd six. Uh, what is that called? Sporter? Or something? Whatever, the one that's specifically labeled as 30 out 6. If you could pick a new weapon to add to the game, what would it be? I don't care too much about a specific caliber, but I want something that can zero out to 400 meters. And of course, right now with the render glitch, it wouldn't be as effective, but. We have maps like Silver Ridge Peaks and Te Awaroa now where there's just huge mountains and mountain species and it would make sense to be able to zero to 400. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind if they took the 6.5, changed the um, ethical weapon classes to 3 to 7, and then did the zeroing like I said and allowed it to be zeroed out to 400. It's the right like type of gun for that. <laughs> So if they did that instead, I definitely would not um, complain. Where is that seven? There he is. One shot or nah? Guess not. Want to do that stopping thing again? Or running faster, that works too. I didn't really know this is what happened. But apparently when they go up here, they just sort of get stuck. That time it was a long shot. Noah, thank you for the super chat again. What about on Parquet or Te Aoroa? As far as like the best places to hunt red deer, they're all over both maps. That's what makes it difficult. There's not like one hotspot. They can be 
literally just about anywhere. I mean, both are good maps to grind it. Grind for Red Deer, if that's what you want. But, uh, as far as, like, a specific location, there's not much I can recommend. <laughs> you can't say that! Exactly, Matt. And, um, it... It already shoots flat enough in Call of the Wild that it ought to be able to 0 to 400 anyway. Like, I think. I used it a decent amount on Silver Ridge Peaks. I think it was almost to like 350. You basically don't even have to aim high when 0 for 300. So, I think they should do just 200, 300, 400, or I don't even care. 150, 300, 400. Like, <laughs> make it simple. It doesn't matter. Just give us something for longer shots. Can you give me some advice for goose hunting? Honestly, right now, I might avoid it. There seems to be, like, a population issue with geese to where there's just not as many of them on the map as there should be. And I'm not too sure when that's going to get fixed. I'm almost certain that was one of the things listed in the Hunter Official Discord that the devs did want to kind of take a look at. But, yeah, I, I would probably wait on that one. I have a goose guide, like, if you want to set up and be ready to go for when that's fixed. If you just uh, search that on channel, I show a couple of different spots and like basically how I do it. Can I swap the ducky hunt you owe me for a red deer hunt? Um, that depends. Was the ducky hunt gonna be another one where I kill like four really big males for some reason? And if so, do I get to do the same with a red deer hunt? Almost missed... what? I don't know what it was. I missed it. Uh, Belthazar, thanks for becoming a channel member, man. Appreciate you, dude. I'm trying to think if you've had that before, because I almost feel like you have, but... Either way, if you don't have it linked up in the Discord, make sure you join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, take advantage of the good stuff that comes along with that. And enjoy the green name and emojis in chat as well. There is the level 6. I feel like we saw that earlier today. Sort of a blind shot, but should be fine. Wherever he went. Yeah. Probably, and yes, but I get any diamonds. I see. I'll have to shoot real quick if I see level 9. I might have hit a tax limit on tax for meat animals and call the wild. What? Do you explain? I'm quite intrigued by this because I was unaware there is such a thing. I know I have a ton of animals and a lot of them I'd just like to delete and get them out of my trophy manager, but if there's a limit, I probably am going to do that. Tips for a diamond fallow deer? Te Aoroa. Um... We're going to do a fallow guide somewhat soon, but... Whoa. Since when do Warthog feed there? That's new. Kind of cool, but very much a new thing. Anyway, um, if you sort of take the same approach that I mentioned earlier, like when you're doing any kind of grind for any species, just literally go to every body of water on the map, try to find drink zones, and then hunt everywhere where you actually do find drink zones. If you do that on Tearoa for probably a couple of days, you'll get a diamond. There are diamond fallow for days on that map. That's actually a nice cutie. Let's see if we can not shoot him while he's trotting. Do you know your member counts? I don't. I'm not sure what it's at. Oh, it's just gonna feed right there? Okay. What? I guess that wasn't as far as I thought, but that's fine. How old are you not to be creepy? I'm 23. Four or five thousand animals taxed? You just tax everything, or like, what? Uh, how have that many been taxed? Have you been trying to find out? You switch maps, or is it just for hunger? We're gonna stick on for hunger today. We pretty much started at 5 a.m., which gives us 
the opportunity to hunt a bunch of different zones and species, which I think will be good. Does anyone know where the best place in time to hunt Roosevelt elk is on Leighton? I have an old Roosevelt elk guide that actually is still pretty relevant. They haven't changed that much. A five to nine definitely is their drink time. A lot of Chila and Norden is good. And then also, what is that? Is that still, it might be Calburn. Whatever the far northeast region is, there's two lakes up there. I guess it's Calburn. I don't know why I never considered that Calburn. Odd that my brain has done that. It's only been an hour. Oddly enough, my brain has done the opposite with that. It feels like that hour has flown by. Then again, almost anything where I'm specifically focused on, like, trying to shoot all the males. We're not so much doing grinding for any specific species, but we shot, like, a bunch of Gemsbuck and stuff like that early on. So I guess that makes sense for me. Our diamond euro rabbit is common. Asking because I got one earlier today. They're not super common. The thing about them is uh, there's just lots of them around. So it's fairly likely that there's like a level three on most maps, but I don't think they're common. My brain does all sorts of odd things. I feel it. I feel it. Um, let's jump back here real quick. See if maybe that max weight estimate buffalo is here. Calbert's one of those good names on Layton we talked about the other day. Pretty much all of them are good. Like, I don't know if there's a name on Layton that I don't like. You got, like, Renaki and Chopika, Willapeg. They're all cool names. I like them. Balmont's my favorite, though, and I like that's the starting region. I believe the Mountain Lion and Puma thing the most, Johnny. I can imagine. They're probably all diamonds and rares, too. Our... Oh, not R. Any Gensbuck tips? I want a diamond one bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hunt around this lake. Let me go show you. We'll check for a Cape Buffalo real quick, then we'll go down there. We did shoot some in their drink time already, but even if it's not their drink time, their feed zones are ridiculous down there. You can do that in multiplayer or single player. And like I said, we'll go down so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about in a moment. Mr. Buffalo? Where the heck are you? Maybe we can just spook him out of there? There's a warthog running. I have lost a one ton creature in the trees. Well, the fact that he warning called probably means he wasn't very big, but anyway. Let's go and look at what I was talking about, if I can click the right thing here. I've killed a brown bear that was a diamond. Nice, man. Are black gold pigs rare? Um, black gold wild boar are rare. Black gold feral pigs are common. Kind of weird. Are they the only ones that have that? I mean, technically, black feral goat are rare and black, like, water buffalo and cape buffalo are common, so I guess it's not the only time, but that's not something that happens very much. Sir Beefy of Low. <laughs> I didn't realize. Does Flinter have a girly now? Our hunter has grown up. What do you do? You blink, all the years pass. Such is life. I killed a 5 medium Yodier, it scored 233 and was a goal? That does not add up. Maybe 333 if you had a missed harvest check or something? You lost Sir Thick of Low. Sir Thick of Low. I like the direction this has gone. I've heard of that, uh, a flinter on PS4 actually. I don't have a PS4, so if anybody ever sees that, you can rest assured. Tis not I, but yeah, I guess be aware of that. Anyway, I was saying this is a really good spot even for Gemsbuck in their feed times, and it seems we've spooked a good number of them, but even when you don't hunt them specifically in their drink zones, you shall see as we continue along, there's going to be more and more of them that start to be visible. I kind of want to get that beige one real quick. 
I'll kind of kick some of these other ones out of here, too. Maybe make them a little more visible. Turn back, sir. I see you. Turn back and stand still. He actually went nervous, which is kind of not what I wanted. We'll just stop him. Probably not going to like that we just shot right by him. Uh, zeroing for 300 might have been bad, but I think we got away with it. But yeah, um, there's there's all you need to see. This is this is what this area is like for Gunsbuck. So to show it again on the map, it's kind of like the top corner of Fever Tree Forest. Outpost right there, you don't need a tent. You don't really even need a tripod. You can go and use this little uh, hunting tower. It's good stuff. Such good memories. What a time to be alive, man. Diamond Roadier rare? They're quite rare, yeah. I think they've always been rare, too. There's never been... Because a lot of species... Like Fallow Deer, I would say... Diamonds used to be a lot more rare. Same could be said for Whitetail. I don't know. There's a lot that were rare at one point and then became common or vice versa, but Rodier have just always been quite rare. Can you tell me just simply routine like what you would hunt on Rahunga starting at like 5? Uh, basically I would come and check here for Gemsbuck drink zones, then I'd probably go to Central Savannah because Gemsbuck and Warthog drink. I'd be checking the areas mostly in Central Savannah till about 8. Then I'm going up here to the north for Cape Buffalo till 12. Then I'm going pretty much all over for line until 1500. And before 1600, I'm going to check this feed zone down here for Cape Buffalo. Very brief description of what my, say, two hours on Verhunga would be. What's up, Wolverine? Another good Gensbuck spot is southeast on that lookout by your buffalo feed zones. I don't get very many there anymore. I used to get way more. I think all mine have moved down to here. Maybe we should go and look. Why not? Buffalo aren't feeding up there right now, so we're not going to mess anything up. Killed level 3 max weight turkey and it didn't count as a diamond? The only way a level 3 turkey cannot be diamond is by messing up one of the harvest checks. Could have been shot with the wrong ammo. Could have been shot more than two times if you used a 22. Could have been... There's no vital check for them. What's the other one? Why am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, there's no trophy, trophy organ, so it had to be wrong ammo or shot more than twice. Is a diamond wildebeest rare? Not really, because a lot of level 4 wildebeest sacks they make diamond. Unfortunately. Not gonna lie, this stream feels like forever. Think I need more coffee. Uh, as long as you don't spill it anywhere. Should be fine. I have 100 hours on my road grind still uh, to get one. I feel it. Fox grind is about the same place at this point. I shot my bloodhound by accident. It is possible to uh, shoot them if they're moving, and you can also do it if you hip fire. Yeah, so this area used to be during their feed time anyway, just loaded with Gunsbuck, but I don't really get them anymore. Usually there's like one or two. It's completely empty. Which is weird. While we're here, let's just run kind of down that way. See if we find any wildebeest. I tried not to... Whoa. I guess I missed. Tried not to spill it this morning. I know. I'm just saying. You got some wild doggos around. Do you live in America? I do. Pennsylvania to be a little more specific. Jump, it is the quick way down, I'll give you that. How do you feel about beef stew? I mean, it's fine. Max render distance? Uh, whatever, like, ultra gives you. I think render in is like 390 something, render out's about 416. I believe lower graphic settings might impact your render distance just a little bit. I'm not certain about that. How does this game get, not get old or repetitive to you? There's two different layers 
to that answer. Number one is that I still have stuff that I'm trying to accomplish. Like, I'm still doing the Diamond Red Fox grind. Um, I'm going to be, you know, getting back on, like, a second Great One grind. There's just certain things that I still want to get in the game that really, in most games, goals like that tend to drive me and keep me coming back. So there's that, and the fact that, you know, just doing videos on the game and stuff is my job, and I can look at it that way, even if maybe I am a little more bored of the game than on a different day, I can still just be like, alright, gotta put in four hours, it's work, and then I end up enjoying it anyway, so, you know, I guess that. I, I like the game, I like it a lot. Maybe bottom boy? I don't know. Since I forgot about it, you smoke a gobbler yet? Um, I don't want to spoil too much because there's going to be a Me Hunters video this week. I think I made it fairly clear earlier in the stream that I did not, but I don't want to start telling stories. By the way, what do you think about Tua? What's your best trophy in the game? I mean, it's hard not to answer that with the great one. They're obviously incredibly rare. There are a ton of others that have been grinding for basically the entire year since they came out back in 2020 and don't have one. So I have to think that's it. My favorite gun? Uh, the M1. And in large part due to the Great One grind that I just mentioned. When you shoot over 1,600 animals with one gun, you, you tend to start to like it, but it's got that... The fact that it's semi-automatic, that super fast follow-up shot, and something we do a lot for whether it's whitetail or uh, we've done it with mule deer, we've done it with red deer. When we're grinding for a diamond, that fast follow-up shot means potentially hours saved in the long run. Should play Farming Sim 19? Uh. I don't know that I'll get back to Farming Sim 19, but quarter four of this year is supposed to have Farming Sim 22 coming out. We'll probably do something with that. I don't know if it's going to be Twitch streams. I kind of want to try videos of it. I just don't know. Like, I know kind of how most farming sim videos are done. I haven't watched them, but I've been told. It's kind of like someone explain what you're going to do. Fast forward video through what you're going to, or through what you do. So maybe I'll try it. I just feel like even though I haven't watched them, I'm not going to be copying anyone's style to where I've seen it. But being told how people tend to do it, I feel like I'd sort of be doing that, and I don't like that idea. Who knows? It could be a stream. John Carlo, thank you for the super chat once again. What gun do you recommend on Classic for a beginner? Honestly, man, the 300 is a great choice. It is, I believe, ethical on everything from, like, coyotes all the way up. Can you answer that, Hunter Man? Is it good on Water Buffalo? That's the only one that I'm not certain of. I know it's good for Bison. Is the 300 good for Water Buffalo? It should be. But I almost feel like only the 45, 70, 340, and other such guns, 9.3, would be. Just got here. What are we hunting today? Pretty much anything. Currently, we're just running around seeing if any wildebeest show up. We've shot a pretty good number of Gensbuck. A couple of Cape Buffalo, some Jackal, some at least a Springbuck. Maybe not some. Just kind of smoking everything and hoping to get good response. Yeah, Johnny, the 9.3 is really good. The only issue with that for a beginner in Classic is that you maybe haven't learned to control the sway yet, and the 9.3 is a really, really heavy gun. Also, maybe a beginner doesn't have the like extended backpacks, you can only carry 10 units. And a lighter gun is good there. And by the way, the 300 is not exactly the light, but it's lighter. Favorite spots for lions? I'd say this kind of double lake right here and the lake up in the northeast. Oh, nice ass. Did I hear that's great? Thoughts on adding Euro mounts to the lodge? I honestly think that's a necessary step to keep the game and Trophy Lodge is more interesting. Really, I think they ought to look into a new lodge sometime soon. 
So Sega Safari was, if I'm correct, November of 2019. Like, it's been a while since we've gotten a new trophy lodge. But anyway, there's a lot of empty space on Tsuseka Safari that you could put Euro mounts on. And I really think there's two kind of things that can do. Number one is just if they did plaques specifically for the Euro mounts. But the other thing is, you know, a, a moose doesn't fit on a plaque the size for, like, say, the Kudu and stuff. But if you did a Euro mount, or even like a skull plate mount, then all of a sudden it actually kind of fits on a plaque like that and looks good. I think that's a thing they should do. That suddenly gives you so much more control over what your lodge looks like, so much more customization, and so much less where you have to make a decision like, okay, do I want to get rid of my first diamond moose because this one I killed scores higher? I don't know. Whereas instead, I think most people, there's definitely some that prefer like bird hunting and stuff, but I, I would say the majority of the player base would be happy to take down a diamond duck and put like a euro mount of a moose or an elk or something in, in that place instead. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, that, that gives you so much more use on those small plaques if you could do the skull plates and euro mounts there. I would love it. What about a large tour sometime? Uh, no caps by the way, but... If we were to do that, it's probably going to be in about a month. I want to do... Because the last one we did was December. Um, maybe December 31st? Or January 1st? I don't know. We did one pretty much the start of the year. How many diamonds do you have? And when's your next team up with DD33? I have nothing playing at the moment as far as collabs go. Diamond count is 734. We actually looked earlier. Anything yet? Nothing super special. Then you just make a trophy lodge you can edit. I really... Like, I can see why that would actually be difficult for them. Because when it gets to handling, like, specific locations for hundreds of animals... That starts to be a lot. I always thought they could do sort of like a grid system, though. Like to where you can move plaques or... Like choose plaques as long as they fit within the grid. It seems like it would be doable, but I'm sure it would be a lot of work. Earn shoutouts by being hilarious in chat? Yes. That is the system. I shot a moose in the brain with a 22 and it still ran. Is that weird? No, and uh, you could shoot a moose in the brain with the 223 and it would run. It's just, the game has to be balanced to a certain degree with, with smaller weapons to make it make sense. If you were able to just drop whatever you want with a 22 with a brain shot, it would sort of encourage using it, even if you lose the, like, proper ammo harvest check so by making it to where it doesn't do enough damage to drop it or just simply that the round can't penetrate through to the brain on some of the larger animals it sort of eliminates the the draw for people to do that generally brain cells are overrated I agree I haven't had one since 2012 this was a pretty lame run for Wildebeest, I must say. Not what I was hoping. Have you... Ahoy? I wonder what that was meant to be. Shot? Any diamond-worthy things in real life? I don't think so. What was that? Ooh. It's a pretty decent springbok. I don't know what he's doing out there. Seems to be by himself. Range is... If I look the right direction... 350. I'm not that good with the 243, so better get in closer. I need a good eating, to be honest. Right after Kyla says we're leaving chat B. Doesn't leave chat B. Bad friend. When's the next beginner series? Um, again, I don't have anything specific planned for it, but 
I would actually like to to do that again. Internet went out for about 20 minutes. Nothing too special happened. Honestly, it was a good good time for internet to go out on you because we sort of ran through, looked for wildebeest for a good bit, didn't really get much of anything to show up, and now we're scooting in on a pretty good sized spring buck, but I'm not too sure we're ever going to get a shot at it. It's just in a difficult to see kind of area. I don't have the collars either. To be able to carry the weapons and still have tents, I had to ditch the collars today, so can't even use that. Yeah, this seems unlikely. He's just in a really thick spot. Oh, oh, oh I think I saw him. I do see him. All right, Rocky, I need your assistance. Probably not there, but it might work. You're going to be my tree stand. Can I see him? Oh, I can. Just barely. Okay. I don't know what's what there, though. Excuse me. Didn't ask you to lay down. Rude. Was that not even him? Oh, no, we dropped it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. What's up, Shock? I really want to know where we hit that. Don't stand on Doggo. He did nothing wrong. He was helping me. I didn't squeeze him. Using dogs as a stand, he helped. It's the goodest boy of Call of the Wild. I was so confused when that didn't move. Unknown smoke. It was probably a hard shot. Just because that's the kind of stupid that would happen in a situation like that. It's a decent sized one. Nope, hit him in the neck actually. Right in the back of the neck. No big deal. Rocky's a multi-tool on a stepladder. See? That's why you gotta get a bloodhound. I honestly, that might be the first time I've gotten to do it. I knew at some point that they would be useful for such things, but I don't think we've gotten to do it till now. What acid? Excuse me? Are you on a server? I'm in single player at the moment. Where should we go? Let's, uh, might as well check this warthog feed zone again and see if there's any Cape Buffalo down here as well. It's a circus act, that dog is a trained professional. Rocky X was the one that shot since he could see it. Aimbot? <laughs> that makes more sense. I was wondering, like, <laughs> if that was a autocorrect. I has ambitious. Absolutely. Oh no, Kyla. Did it happen? I was afraid that it might happen. Just re-downloaded Call of Wild, haven't played in a year. Definitely a lot has changed over the course of the last year in the game, so I think you'll quite enjoy some of the changes. Is an albino female turkey rare? Um, most rare turkey aren't really that rare. I'd say melanistic gobblers are relatively rare, but all of them are a little more common than they should, probably should be. How are you able to shoot that springbok? I couldn't see through the bushes. I sort of, like, I knew what direction he was facing from having spotted him earlier, and I could see the orange as to where his body was. Now, I definitely, like, I was trying to hit him in the shoulder. The fact that we hit the back of the neck was pure, pure luck. But, uh, yeah, I was just aiming at orange, basically. Uh oh. Hi. Ooh, solid gut shot there. Don't worry. Can't hit a thousand pound animal at 12 feet, but the uh, the spring bucket, 150 meters in the brush, no big deal. What's up, Jack? Thank you for the super chat. Doing well. Over, hopefully everyone else is too. They always think it's a game. Awkward. I'm gonna be big one day, you all see my ambitions. And here I am, 12 inches tall. It didn't happen. The 
think that'll be probably a gold three. So not even a four in here. We shot that diamond on the Twitch stream some time ago now. And we just don't get much of anything big in here after that. Sad day. Oh, jeez, Kyla. Was it in, like, a... A mug, like you said earlier? Can't hit a fish in a barrel? I clearly can't. Just if the fish is completely hidden in its little home, then I can hit it. Okay, pal. <laughs> well. Really hope Africa's the next reserve. We get so many awesome opportunities. The great thing about Africa, and maybe the one reason I could actually see them kind of holding off on doing more Africa reserves, is that there's so many species. They could do like 10 reserves based in Africa, all with complete unique species, like never use the same species twice and still not have gone through like the total number of species that you know live in Africa it's just it's got so many but it would sort of make sense too once they've sort of done a lot of other things then they always have that to kind of fall back on and always have new stuff so I could see if they were trying to save that my goodness are there several herds of wildebeest here it's a lot well, I guess we'll take the four that was kind of in the open. Bro. Maybe not. Where is he? Where was he? Ah, look the wrong way, I guess. It was over there. That's a one. That's a two. This is not going to plan. <laughs> Can we have a male? That's, no, that's not a male. That's a male. Not the one that we're spotting. That one. Yeah. Should have gotten along, I think. Yeah. I don't even know where the buffalo went. I think it left. Would I, though, Palo? Maybe I'd actually have some self-esteem. That sounds sad. Never mind. Merry Christmas? Yeah, that's Christmas in May. Where on earth? You know what? We have a scent hound for these things. Is the rarest thing in your trophy lodge the albino lion? I technically don't have an albino lion in the new lodge. Um, probably the rarest thing in the trophy lodge would be the great one anyway. Although albino lion spawn rate can't be, you know, too far outside the same general area of rarity. It's not even July. Didn't even get attacked. See, I wonder if Rocky does that. That's what I want to know. I'd feel bad if I cared. Uh. Goodness, Palo. On a streak today. Um, Snake, thanks for the super chat, by the way. Primitive weapon pack with atlatl spears and slingshots. I wonder, like, how would they handle the difficulty that comes with throwing a spear or a, a slingshot or an atlatl? Like, that's what I wonder. Could they even come close to properly capturing the difficulty? I don't know. And the buffering starts. I mean, you made it almost 75% of the way through, I assume. If you could only have one map, which one would it be? Of the ones that exist? I guess Layton, because it's got a big number of species that I actually really enjoy hunting. Good boy, I probably don't have doggo treats. I don't, I'm so sorry. I had to bring an extra gun. Shot a blacktail with the... I'm not sure, I know which bow it is, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. 127 yards, double long hard shot, nice. Uh, range finding side or nah? I killed two diamond rocky mountain elk in the same herd the other day. That would have been cool to see. I've never seen really even two very big ones in the same herd. I don't know where to go. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the... I think it's the place that we shot that troll level 9 the same day that we shot the diamond spring bug, for those of you that remember that. Bad dog, dad, I see. Alright, you caused this, just so you know. You caused this delay. Don't have room. What are we doing? What are we doing? 
Uh, Alright, we're going no first aid. Dog's more important than my health, apparently. It's fine. Where is he? Rocky, get over here. There's a glitch, by the way, that can't happen. Where they somehow, like, get stuck. And th they're just constantly warping to your side. And you can't see them. It's not a thing. One minute, 17 second delay. The best. The best. Stop. I don't want you to search for blood. I don't understand why that happens sometimes. Usually just hitting the B key makes him heal, but on occasion it decides to make him track blood instead. No first aid. Ooh boy. I need a, uh... I need emotes for B, T, M, and Y to make a bottom boy like that. What's up, Great White Ginger? Sorry I'm late, I was watching Iron Man. Did I miss anything? Nothing so far. We've shot a lot of stuff out here on Verhunga, but no, you know, special big males. I wonder if... If the tent was... Yeah. The tent's probably too close to these buffalo, so when we go up around the bend, they should spawn in. Doggos, the reason we watch the stream, I see. Get to know. Scream like Scarecrow? What now? Don't mind me talking in my bottle and making an echo. It's fine. You probably answered this before, but if you could hunt any game, what would it be and why? I'm assuming you mean in real life then. Um, I'd love to hunt red deer with a bow in their rut. Just to experience that, like that's my why. Just to experience like hearing them roar and hopefully getting in close, assuming, you know, I could be successful and at least get to hear hear the roars and uh, call back and forth with them maybe. That would be a dream hunt for me. Didn't use the range finder bow side, I used the three mark. Nice dude. Oh hey. How's it going? Huh? How did that miss? I didn't mean to... Like, I was trying to shoot him in the lungs. I like how I can miss a shot that I thought was good, and then mess up and drop him. It's fine. I have a friend who specializes in killing moose with a starter gun? I think I... I might have made a video of how to drop moose with the 243. You can brain shot them or heart shot them when they're drinking. It's actually not that bad. I mean, I didn't say that, Sam. Those were your words, not mine. What's your favorite map to hunt on and what's the biggest animal you've gotten on it? Layton and I guess technically the great one, since it's above what would be the theoretical max score for a non-great one whitetail. Watched tons of your videos for multiple years. Finally caught you streaming. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Hope you are as well. Good to have you here on a stream as well. Building a Lego. I don't know what the AT, -AT thing is right now, but Lego's a, a good move. I approve this. About to lose connection. No worries, man. We'll hopefully catch you in the next stream. Oh, how I did not miss dealing with vinyl. I can imagine. You know, we never shoot this because usually we spook Cape Buffalo back this way. Maybe we can get some kind of respawn down here. We just smoke that fella real quick. That might have been too low. Yeah, it kind of was. Awkward. I don't know if that's going to kill him. Especially not if we can hit him again. Well then, maybe we won't get a respawn. I one shot a moose in the heart with the 223. It ran for about 100 meters before it died. Yeah, the 223 just can't can't quite compete with the 243. If you use the soft point bullets, maybe. That's something worth trying. I might do that. Hashtag no spoilers, but how are the 6.5 millimeter rail missions going? I literally just need to get the diamond, I think. Um, 
I've been grinding a little bit with Ibex and stuff, and no such luck getting that to uh, happen and get the gun yet. I thought they might have been Titans fan, but I just was not confident enough to believe that that would be the case. The Wildebeest died. There's almost no way it died in Render, but we're kind of going the way it went, so maybe we'll find it. Do you think the 30 stick should be a class 4 to 9 rifle? I like that um, we don't have a ton of 4 to 9s, so I'm kind of fine with it not being one, but it's certainly powerful enough to be one. Same with the muzzle loader, by the way. When will you do the Teoroa missions? We did that, I don't know, two or three months ago? You need to buff the 6.5, 470, and fix a bullet drop on the 243. And Mosin on top of bullet registration issues? Yeah, there's some ballistic stuffs that could be updated. I'll say that um, I was doing acid one night and I had this idea for a great video. And you can take that however you'd like, but that'll be your credit. Did you do any of the Mother Day stuff on Classic? Honestly, I I've been too busy prepping for um, Kyla to come out here, so I played Classic, but I didn't even look at the whatever event that they had going on. Why did I come back here? We've been here already. That was stupid. Um, yeah, we'll shoot that. Worth it. Something just... Oh. Never mind. I've shot five uh, legendary red deer in the last two days and three made diamond. I was wondering if they're spawning more commonly. Um, I don't think so. Sounds like just good luck. It just... It depends, Acid. Like I said, depends on how you take it. Hunting on acid, that sounds terrible. I can only imagine. Get anything good yet? Nothing special so far. Just kind of been running around, pretty much shooting whatever we can find. Have been for a while, exactly. What's the best spot to hunt jackal? So, the best spot, as far as I can tell, is around the mountain on the west side of the map. So. Hold on, go ahead and grab this. This general area just has a ton of them. I I didn't hear a single thing that I said, Kylo, about actually like what happens. So I don't think this is an appropriate um, comparison. Just saying. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what I guess Gemsbuck feeding right now. Let's see if there's any... Is it here? I think it's here. There used to be a spot east of this lodge or the one to our north that would have a lot of Gensbuck feeding there. Smoke this dragon with the whole Yuri curve. Yes. How do I equip doggy treats? You just have to have them in your backpack. It's because you said, like, exactly what, what it's supposed to be, that's all. What's up, Brady? Anything good yet? Nothing really at all. We've shot a couple of, like, good-sized gold against Buck and Cape Buffalo. One pretty good spring buck. It was a ridiculous blind shot, basically. That, that part was cool, but nothing, you know, as far as... Diamonds or rares go. Guess that's Rocky's footsteps I hear. This does not look like the area I was thinking of that has Gemsbuck feeding, although it looks like a place that could, in general, have Gemsbuck feeding at it. Or rabbits, even. I don't know. There's tracks, Springbuck, and Jackal. Well, there's at least one male, so maybe we should 
see if we can spot them. I imagine this is a herd that we've seen. Ooh. Alright. Max estimate jackal track. Never mind about the spring buck. We'll see what this is. Is the invisibility glitch still a thing? You still get that one animal's got a render, yeah. I'm at school right now? Nice. Just don't get in trouble for watching the stream. I don't want to be <laughs> responsible for that. Or feel responsible anyway. I guess I wouldn't be. Next track. That's a jackal track, so it should be with that one. 151.3, I think, Tux. Is albino spring buck rare? It's pretty rare. Max weight jackal hashtag troll? Probably. Though, we've had a couple of, like, random level 9 jackal at times when we're just hunting other stuff. At least one of those was in single player, so unlike Red Fox, evidently, my map is capable of spawning level 9 jackal. I think these are still tracks that's pretty far between them, but as long as we can find them. Are you saying... Are you addressing me in that acid, or are you saying you're changing your name to Acid Floater? Like, I need to understand. I wonder if they drink on the coast down here. No, Pallet, those are common. The 303 is better in power, but the 30 out 6 in the M1 is the best class 4 to 8. I would agree with all of that. Is an albino bighorn rare because I got one after the gray mountain lion? Albino bighorn are quite rare, yes. I better see some big males. We're tracking a max weight estimate jackal right now, so... You may... What's going on, Scarecrow? How's everything going? Excuse me. Okay. They do drink down here. That's good to know. I was entirely unaware of that. So, the, I think, warning call I heard would have been Jackal. The nice thing is they run pretty slow. The bad thing is, if this is a level 9, this is a terrible place to try to get a shot at it. So, fingers crossed on that one. When's the new map going to be added? If I had to place a bet, probably sometime in June, maybe late June. You like the sound of that? It's uh, completely random. I was coming down here looking for Gensbuck, but nice to see a heavy one. I assume so, Sam. It would only make sense. <laughs> Next track. I'm not seeing even... Uh, maybe I am. I even hear them. So they're like right here. Bottom boy, thank you for the super chat. Skip the song, put me to sleep. I can't even skip the YouTube playlist because it's actually like all one long track. I think there's probably a way I could restart it, but the way that I'd have to go about that would be quite involved. Next track, where? We're still on his trail. I assume because there's jackal tracks everywhere, they're all together. I could be wrong, he may have turned. Hmm. That's concerning. I usually don't... Oh, there's the track. I usually don't abandon the track when it's like a an animal that's with a herd or in a group because sometimes the distance between tracks is just massive. What is the new map? No one knows anything about that, that yet. I'm just guessing, based on the pattern that they tend to release maps. Probably in the next month and a half, roughly, we should see something about one anyway. New map is Mars? Yes. Interesting, Scarecrow. Sounds like small spoilers to me. Alright, surely this will be the spot to spot them. Glad I said spot twice in that sentence. Awkward. Uh, just over three months, Eric.
Are you going to do any real life hunting videos this season? I've hopefully got one. Of course they turn up this way. Hopefully got one uh, this Friday on the Meat Hunters channel coming out. Small, small. Mythical, that's our guy. Lame. Can we hit him at least? Get dead, boy. Didn't even hit that one. Might as well get respawns. It worked nice. I like it. What a pro. Best place for Springbuck? Probably... I don't know. These lakes are really good. This lake's pretty good. Central Savannah's quite good. There's, there's a lot of good areas for him. Hit him in the skull, but he's only 0.7 below diamond. He's a pretty big one. Decent enough, anyway. I don't know how I just opened the map, but that's not what I meant to do. Now people will know just how big of a fan I am. All four people that understand the floater reference, yes? Mosin is fixed. My most recent testing would say otherwise, but maybe it's been fixed randomly since then. Nice, Tux. Where do you typically find diamond caves? The most consistent spot is this feed zone right here. You can see if I can get him to highlight. Game, please. Wait. I had it. Why are you doing this to me? That's the Warthog one. Alright. Well, <laughs> you'll have to take my word for it. That's a Cape Buffalo feed zone there, and it is amazing. There are so many Cape Buffalo in that spot. The amount of nines I've killed is... I, like, I don't even... I can't keep track. And we've also had a leucistic female up there at some point in the relatively recent past. 12.15 now. I do want to go and visit that feed zone, but I first want to wait till at least like 12.45, which is going to be pretty much right at the end of the stream here. But I want to make sure that like any K buffalo in that area is going to be in the zone because they're, of course, quite slow moving. Nice, Scarecrow. Just saw that thing you sent me. Um, I think that's my name in Aaron's Snapchat sheds. Pretty sure. When you say stacked need zones, bottom boy, do you specifically mean... Uh, where was that spot at that I looked at earlier? This one, like, right here. It shows Warthog, but we definitely have Cape Balfour the drink in that exact same spot. Is that what you mean by stacked ones? What's up, Rebecca? I swear those jackal faces, they are the derpiest boys of Call of the Wild. Killed like 20 animals with no problems with the Mosin. It seems like it's actually a bigger issue when the scope is all the way zoomed out, which is odd. How would you go about killing those caves when you spawn right on top of them? That tent's not there for um, for spawning to shoot them purposes. It's actually now more of a thing so I can shoot them from a distance and spawn over there before they get out of render. But originally it was put there to run to the... If I can scroll down here. To this lookout and look down to these feed zones, which are like Wildebeest, Gensbuck, Gensbuck, Wildebeest. Basically that's what that was actually put there for. I don't spawn right at it. There's a decent spring buck. Guess we'll shoot that. Nice of them to just casually walk out when there's no lions here. I knew he was going to do that. I was fully prepared to completely whiff the shack because he would start bouncing along. Hi. I didn't know Jackal drank over on this side either. This is all new stuff. Not the most effective way to do that, but I guess it works. Now you're going to hop. Why you got to be like that? We'll just take the two. That's about as big as they get, Giancarlo. I hear a lion. Where, lion? I would like to shoot you. If I could see you. Still no diamond lions on that grind, by the way. 
One troll legendary. I wonder why they call them springbucks? Because they're little springy boyos. Did they say new map? No, there's nothing confirmed. I still hear one. Uh, the reason that we've been talking about it is that pretty much every June or around June we get a new map, so it's sort of somewhat expected to see one fairly soon. <laughs> That's going to have to be a really good shot to get him down in time. Did we hit the brush? He stopped over there. It would be really nice to be able to get another round in him. The most cooperative boy I've ever seen. Uh, let's game. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate the support. So much pronking. I like that they do it, but apparently they don't really do it correctly in this game from what I've been told. Like, I guess they're only supposed to do it when it's high grass. I mean, I guess if you're just going to stand there. We'll take it, but... Bit of an odd thing. Favorite animal to hunt? I'd say... Grey Wolves over on Yukon. I just like seeing them, like, interact with other animals, interacting with other wolves in the pack. And, of course, when they actually go aggressive, it's quite fun. I lost all my progress. What do I do? Hello? Um, I'd contact support. You were gonna make it so fun to try to shoot when you ran across. <laughs> well, that didn't really go to plan. Apparently this issue exists in more places than I thought. It's odd that it's almost like a time thing though, because we've been here a couple of times today and had no issues. But then, for some reason now, we have Springbuck and Warthog doing it. Pretty weird. A good line. It was quite kind of him to stop and not run out of render after we didn't hit him that well. Or actually, I guess we sort of did. I never did get a follow-up shot in him. Thought we did, but I guess not. So what we'll do then is we'll fast travel here. We'll look for a lion super quick. We'll go and visit the Cape Buffalo Feed Zone. And that's going to pretty much do it. What does render mi mean? Uh, it, it's basically, it's also known as the draw distance. It's literally referring to how far away in, in Hunter Call of Oh my goodness, I can't say the words. In Hunter Call of the Wild, it's about 400 meters. And it's, watch this. The skin's box going to go away at about 460 meters. That's all it is. Uh, anything inside of that 416 is in render. Anything outside of that is beyond render distance. Simple as that. What's up, Graham? Just in time to hear me absolutely stumble over everything I just tried to say. We saw this guy in a recent video. Now he's dead. Should I shoot this level 5 stag? Why not? By the way, there was a max estimate cootie track back there. I just sort of don't feel like following it, so... We're leaving it alone. Honestly, I'd rather have more multi-mounts than another map. If it doesn't have white tail on it, what about you? I want more multi-mounts, regardless. Uh, would I rather it over a new map? Not necessarily. I don't know. Over certain maps. I see what you're saying, like, uh... You know, if it doesn't have white tail on it, like, you're... There's a certain map you'd prefer over the addition of multi-mounts. I don't know. I think a new map. You know, we've been coming up on six months now with nothing new since Te Aoroa. It would be nice. Level 5 Fallow? There you go. I think Kyla spawned it. I tried to get back into Call of the Wild recently, but struggled to find my need zones again after getting a new PC and starting fresh. Yeah, I can imagine that would be a little bit frustrating trying to find everything when you're used to them being in a certain area. Best way to get Cape Buffalo to go aggressive? It seems as though, generally, it's to not want them to go aggressive somehow when you 
really don't want them to, that's when they consistently do it. But I would say just running near them is about the best way. Is it hard to get a diamond lion? I've had a lot of diamond lions in multiplayer, but I've never had one in single player. So that's a tough question for me to answer. I think the spawn rate is pretty low. Fix call the wild ducks. I'm sure you'd play a lot more if they did that. Okay. Don't know how I just did that, but that's fine. Look at these goobers. <laughs> All run into the same hole. Intelligent male. Do you have a max score Cape Buffalo? The best we've ever had is our most recent Diamond Cape Buffalo. I think it's a 161. Max score is 162.5, so close but not quite. Did I say hi to Hot Diggity Boy, by the way? I'm not sure if I did. Good spot for Cape Buffalo, where we're going right now. This spot up here by the lookout in the southeast is just fantastic. Can I play with you? I'm in multiplayer pretty often. If you're just hanging out in random, you know, multiplayer servers, there's a good chance I'll run into you. Goofy goobers. I don't know how you do it, man. Got my farther shot on a 412 on a white tail buck, but it went out of render. Yeah, it's, it's got to be tough to make any, like, 400 meter shots right now because it is almost immediate that they're out of render and we could the thing that we have going on now, we're going to be shooting a Cape Buffalo, whichever one we choose, this close to this tent and we could fast travel up there pretty quick, but it might still take longer for us to fast travel than it would for them to leave our render, so I wouldn't be too confident trying it You never said hi to me you hate me, I know well, I'm glad you figured it out anyway. I've been trying to hide it, but since you know. Nice, Thunder Bunny. What lake should I hunt lion? Literally every lake except for this one, this one, and this one. They're everywhere. They're all over Perhunga. Oh, and this one. They don't spawn there either. Okay. Who do we choose up here? Got many options. Nothing super huge. I think that max system at seven is the best. So what we got to do is we got to get our shot off and then fast travel quick as we can. And don't walk in front of my buffalo, sir. How dare you. Bodyguards. Well, I guess you deserve this. And fast travel. Work, please. Thank you. I don't hear anything, which is weird. Oh, there we go. That's not the one we shot, or at least I hope not. Hello. I actually haven't tried this until right now. Interesting. Interesting they'd run this way. Nice, Kylo. No hunting pressure, so I guess we didn't make a good enough shot on that one. Unfortunate. I mean, it's easier to name the ones that they don't drink at, Johnny. There's like, I don't know, 12 or so that they do and 4 that they don't. I was trying to be helpful. I tried. I wish I could play this game. I'm guessing then you don't have a console or PC that can run it. It's pretty, you know, universally available. Um, let's go here, I guess. A couple of spots for lions, then. Back for the last few minutes of the stream. What did I miss? Nothing, nothing super special, to be honest. Small male. I almost want to just fast travel somewhere else. Yeah. We're not gonna, since we only have a couple minutes, we're not gonna take the time to shoot a small lad like that. You're not a mod, that's why? Is that how that works? 
Goodness. What the heck are these lame males doing? We're out here trying to get the biggest males to call the wild, and that's, that's what the game's given us? I don't approve. That's sad. <laughs> a five and a four. At least we had the mythical Jack earlier. It's 11 p.m. here in Austria. I'm going to bed. Good night, man. Appreciate you hanging out. We'll hopefully catch you in the next stream. Well, I guess I deserve that for insulting small males. First thing we find is yet another small male. I guess we'll just keep hop until something less pathetic shows up. We could do... Let's go here, I guess. Yeah, I do Scarecrow. Pretty often. Lame Males has got to be my favorite label. That would be another good one to do an emote out of, quite honestly. What's the best way to earn money for tents and such? Probably right now grinding Fallow Deer on Te Aoroa. I would have said geese hunting for the past year or so, but they... I'm not sure if it was the Bloodhound update or what did it, but something seems to be wrong with their population. There's just not as many. Good effort, though. Well. How often do you stream? Uh, four days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. It's literally a different time every day. Um... The only stream here on YouTube is Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Then it's Wednesday at 9 p.m., uh, Friday at 1 p.m., and Sunday at noon, all Eastern time. Have you ever shot a bird in this game's cousin? Like a duck in Classic, or... I'm not quite sure what you're asking there. A couple of decent-ish males, I guess. We can at least... Go for them. What are you lot planning? Don't worry about it, it's fine. Stand back up for a second. Hopefully. Because they tend to stand still, it's probably okay to take a longer shot. Did that miss? I think so, but why? I don't have any idea. We got him in the lungs the second time, but I feel like we aimed the same. Maybe it hit brush? If you found an albino lion legendary, how long would you stream looking for it? Until we found it. We would not give up. I mean, I chased what turned out to be, I think, a... 955 or like 961, a, a not very big Diamond Warthog for an additional hour and a half on a stream one time. That's definitely how it works, Palo. You got it. Probably hit a tree branch. It just didn't seem like there were any over there. Really glad I found your channel. Love the content. Don't stop. I definitely have zero intentions of stopping. I enjoy this too much, but thank you, man. Finger cracks? Yeah, don't mind me. Been doing it all wrong. Palo's just out here giving out the secrets as if it's no big deal. It's fine. Is this that female lion's track then? It is a common, so not a big deal. <laughs> Was that difficult for you, bottom boy? I could imagine it probably was. What guns are we using at the moment? I've got the 300 for the bigger game. The 303 for kind of medium stuff, 243 for the smaller lads, and 22 for rabbits. Yeah, I change it every week. Yeah, only the two hits, so I guess hit a bush or a tree or something. Cootie tracks. If there's not any lions over on the far side there, we might be pretty well wrapping up. I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing, so on that note, 
yeah. I think that is going to just about do it. Nothing special out here on Ranga today, but a lot of, like, varied kills. We had a fair amount of Cape Buffalo, a fair amount of Lions, actually a decent amount of Jackal, a bunch of Gensbucks and Springbucks, so hopefully next time we get out here, we can find some kind of, you know, big male respawn from what we've actually done out here today as Billy's peeking on in, but yeah, as always guys, thank you so much for watching, thanks for all the support, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you hopefully in tomorrow's video. Bye!